it's still there. Many thousands of Morsi loyalists, some of them with their families, camping here around the clock, keeping up their demand for his reinstatement. There's a lot of anger here about the killings. It's a, a complete massacre. We are peaceful. We don't have a, a stone. We don't even throw stones. Yesterday there was a massacre uh, during the uh, 2 a.m. Uh, these people are peaceful. At the core of the protest is the Muslim Brotherhood, the movement to which Mohammed Morsi belongs. It's an influential Islamist party that goes back more than 85 years. It's deeply embedded in Egyptian society. It can get tens, even hundreds of thousands of supporters out on the streets. It did just that on Friday to show that it enjoys mass support. That was to counter a huge rally called by the commander of the army, now defense minister, General Sisi. He wanted a display of public backing for what he calls his drive against terrorism. There were fears that that could herald a brutal crackdown on the Muslim Brotherhood and the protest camp. But the deadly violence at the mosque yesterday did not turn out to be a serious effort to overrun the area taken over by Mr. Morsi's defiant followers. That may still be to come, and there's an ever-present risk of another collision. But with international and also domestic political concern at the carnage mounting, the interim government here will think twice before launching a concerted attack. Jim York, BBC News, Cairo.